Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am somewhere very nice right now um, at this river. So as I mentioned in my last video, today's video is going to be a reading vlog. It's Labor Day weekend and my family is here in the mountains. Um, we are basically going to be staying in this like yurt thing for a couple of days. Should be pretty fun. Not planning on doing too much. Supposed to be just like pretty relaxing, fun weekend. So I'm hoping to get a bunch of reading done. And I actually left my books in the car because we've stopped at this park right now for lunch. Um, but when we get there, I'll show you guys the books I'm planning on reading this weekend. I'm very excited. I've got one audiobook and two just regular print books. So, hope it's fun. And yeah, I will keep you guys posted and show you some of the scenery. Oh, so pretty. Weather's perfect. Love it. End of summer. Fall vibes are coming. Enjoy it now. Yeah. Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to quickly share the books that I'm planning on reading this weekend while we're here on this little reading vlog situation. Um, so I didn't bring like super long books. I am here with my family. This is meant to be like a vacation for all of us. So hopefully we'll be spending lots of time like just hanging out, hiking, stuff like that. So didn't want to be like trying to read giant tomes while I was here. Um, but I have three books to talk about. So the first one's actually an audiobook that I wanted to just listen to in the car ride. Um, we did have a pretty long drive to get here and then have another long drive back on Monday when we're going back home. Um, so I thought that would be good then because I, my eyes get really strained in the car so I didn't want to be like reading then. Um, so for that one, I'm actually listening to Leap of Faith, which is Queen Noor of Jordan's um, memoir slash autobiography. And she's actually a really interesting character because she was like born in the US, grew up like fully American, you know, like never thought she would end up being a royal in an Arab state and got introduced to King Hussein and ended up marrying him and becoming this queen of a country that was going through a lot of turmoil in the latter half of the 20th century. Obviously, the Arab-Israeli conflict was, you know, t super um, uh, just like taking over all aspects of life in that part of the world. And it's something that it's a piece of history that I actually don't know a ton about. So it's really interesting hearing it from the perspective of someone like her who kind of came from the outside but then got really embroiled in everything that was happening politically. And so far, I'm about three hours in, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's She does a good job of like talking about her own personal experiences and what she went through throughout her life, but also sharing a lot about um, history of that region and how the conflict came to be. And so far has presented a pretty objective perspective, I think. I think she has a very nuanced way of thinking about the types of issues that they're, um, you know, that area is dealing with. Um, so I've really enjoyed it thus far. And I think it's going to be a great read as I finish it out. The other two books I have, I've talked about recently in a couple of book hauls that I did. The first is Poso Wells by Gabriela Aleman. She is an author from Ecuador. And it, this is, um, I, I think I described it as an eco-feminist noir thriller. So I'm really excited for this one. I think it's going to be an interesting mix of some really good social commentary, but also just like a fun, thrilling book to read. And it's quite short, so I'm hoping it'll be a quick read that will be easy to get through. So I'm excited for this one. And then the other book I have is The Prophet by Khalil Gibran, who is a Lebanese poet, author, artist who was really, really popular um, in, I guess, the earlier part of the 20th century. Um, his books are supposed to be just really inspiring, really philosophical, make you think. I brought a highlighter and a pen to write in this book because I think it's going to just trigger a lot of thoughts. So very excited about that too. I think, as you can see, there's this beautiful setting around me. So I think this will be a good book to just, you know, sit outside and read and just think and enjoy. So I'm looking forward to that. So those are the three books I'm hoping to get a solid way through this weekend. Not gonna, you know, stress out about trying to completely finish them, but that's the plan. So I will keep you posted on how things are going, but this is so beautiful. It's like not too hot here, which is so nice. It's been really hot at home where I live, um, but here in the mountains, it's a bit cooler. So that's really great. We have this perfect view of the sunset. So that should be very exciting tonight. And we've brought like stuff for s'mores. There's a fire pit. Um, so yeah, I don't think we're like leaving this area for, you know, a couple days. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. 
Um, and I'm excited to have you guys join with me. Cool, I will see you in a bit. What is up guys? I am back now from my trip, um, all set at home, and it was so much fun. It was such a beautiful time in the mountains. Um, it was really nice to just kind of get away from everything, not be like, I don't know, surrounded by thoughts of COVID and things like that, and just have some time to relax and unplug out in nature it was so beautiful like at night of just being able to see the starlit sky like there was no light pollution out there it was really nice and of course there were not really any other people around so it was just an opportunity to just breathe uh, natural air a little bit which is really nice um so based on the books that i was trying to get through this weekend um i actually didn't finish all three of them i only finished two of them um, so I just want to talk a little bit about them. I'm going to talk about both of these books again in a future video, especially when I'm talking about like my Around the World series, because as you know, all the books that I was reading are a part of that series. Um, so I'm not going to go into a whole ton of detail, but I thought I would just give you an update on how things went. So the first one that I finished was Queen Noor of Jordan's uh, memoir slash autobiography called Leap of Faith. And as you might recall, I was listening to that via audiobook. Um, and that book was so good. I really loved it. It was kind of long. Um, it took definitely took a while to get through the entire thing. Um, but it was just really, really great in that um, it, it definitely talked a lot about like Middle Eastern politics from a perspective that you don't always hear about in the US. Um, you know, Jordan's monarchy, I did a lot of research on Jordan's monarchy after reading the book, obviously. Um, but it, it is known to be kind of a more moderate monarchy, a more moderate government in general in the Middle East compared to some of the other countries that are involved um, in that region of the world. And I think it's a really interesting perspective to have, um, you know, just kind of being sort of cut in the middle a lot of times in a lot of the conflict in that part of the world. Um, so I think she does a really good job of exploring the nuances between um, relationships between different countries and how that's affected uh, her life and her husband's life, who has who was obviously a very long reigning monarch in the Middle East um, and just head of state in general. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. And it was just interesting kind of seeing the perspective of someone who is not the head of state and doesn't have like all these political inhibitions holding her back, but is kind of adjacent to the head of state in that perspective, because I think she also has a lot of personal stories that are really interesting and I appreciated that her candor in sort of talking about all the personal issues and how they're intertwined with all of the political issues that she is now just kind of a part of because of who she's married to. Um, but those political issues obviously existed in her husband's life um, far before they were even married. So I think that that's really interesting because she kind of tells King Hussein's story from her own perspective from like the things that she's heard from him. Um, and it kind of talks about his entire life um, and then also about her personal feelings and how she adapted from going from being like an American living, um, you know, she graduated from Princeton and everything and then becoming the queen of a country in, in, uh, in of, of Jordan. So I think that that was just 
fascinating, loved it. I think it was a really educational book as well as just a really lovely uh, memoir. And as you all know, I love my, me a good memoir, so it was a lot of fun. And then the other book that I finished was uh, Poso Wells by Gabriela Aleman, who is an Ecuadorian writer. Um, I was really excited for this one because I'd heard it was just like a really quirky, interesting book. Um, the first chapter in the book talks about like a politician um, who is at like a rally and he really needs to go to the bathroom and he just kind of does it while on stage and then gets electrocuted and literally burns up into flames. And so it was just like a very wacky, thing to start off the book with and the whole book is kind of the same sort of vibe there's a mystery that has like weird religious overtones um it's a satire about like the government and how poverty kind of interplays with all these like political actors it's really really interesting i think the only complaint i had about this book was that it wasn't long enough um i feel like the ending kind of wrapped up sort of quickly and i felt like there was more that I wanted to know about the characters and the story and the setting of Poso Wells, um, which is a city of, I think it's a fictional city in Ecuador where this is set. Um, and I just, I, I kind of wanted more and I wanted a little more detail before the plot wrapped up. So I was really hoping for that and I wish this book had been a little longer. It was quite short, so it was really easy to get through in a weekend. Um, so I loved it, wish it had been longer, so good. We'll talk about it a little more in a future video. Um, but yeah, those are the two books that I finished this weekend. I did not get through Khalil Gibran's book, but um, I'm about halfway through. I've been really enjoying the poetry and sort of his philosophical take on things. Um, but I will talk about Profit whenever I finish that um, and not kind of go into too much detail today. But yeah, so that was my weekend reading vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope it was a little fun, different sort of thing. Um, I'm excited to keep doing more different types of videos as I'm trying to learn how to like make videos and you know the whole YouTube thing like figure it out because I don't really know what I'm doing yet um, but it's been a lot of fun and uh, yeah I will see you guys for the next one thank you so much for watching as always please leave a like subscribe to the channel comment you know the drill now thank you so much again um, I have been loving this whole process of like making videos about books and you know starting to try to start making videos about other stuff too so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.